Rupert Bunny, a Melbourne painter, went to Paris in 1884, age 20, and spent basically the next five decades of his life living there. And he was a very successful artist um, in Paris at that time. Probably no other Australian had works so extensively exhibited in Europe until the late 20th century. Pastoral is, I think, the culminating work of the first series of mythological paintings that Bunny did at the Salon. It's special in a couple of ways. I mean, it starts to show him limbering up as a really fabulous colourist. And that's one of the things I think that this exhibition will reveal to people, that Bunny was a wonderful colour painter. And you can start to see those things happening in Pastoral. The red accents, the atmospheric pinkish sky against those chalky cliffs and silvery pink light of Brittany, Bunny then puts mythological creatures. And that's the real and the kind of not real mix that becomes absolutely intrinsic to his work. Bunny painted um, a work in 18, around 1897 called Dolce Far Niente. And I think that for me is a key painting in the show. It's when he begins to focus on painting women and he'll do that almost exclusively for 10 to 15 years. At the centre of that painting is Jeanne Morel, an artist's model who later became his wife and she is everywhere in this exhibition. For many people, Bunny's paintings of women at leisure represent the quintessential image of the Belle Epoque in Paris, that idea of an endless summer, but which was, of course, completely swept away by war. I think there's a real element of truth in that, and that's what we love about Bunny, that capacity to capture all of that luxury and all of that sort of colour and splendour of that period. I hope people enjoy seeing paintings that have never been seen in Australia before, which I think tell the most comprehensive story that we've seen on Rupert Bunny to date.